we talked about. You have 3, 7, 9, and 10. And I'm not sure if he clarified for each one. So, um, so for cranial nerve 3, you have nerves coming to a ganglion. And that is your ciliary ganglion. And those are going out to ciliary muscles. And since these are parasympathetics, they constrict the pupil. And that's pretty much it for three. Then you have cranial nerve seven. And cranial nerve seven is unique because you have two ganglia. And so you have greater petrosal nerve. And greater petrosal nerve is going to come out. And it'll synapse. And that is your PT ganglia. And then it'll go on and two glands, lacrimal, and what is that? Oral nasal glands. Then the other branch for seven, that's your corda tympani. And corda tympani's gland, ganglia is submandibular. Okay, and then the fibers continue and they go two different places sub mandibular ganglia or gland and sublingual okay and things to keep in mind PT ganglia is dangling off of V2 and then let's see submandibular ganglion is hanging off of lingual nerve And lingual nerve is V3. That's pretty much it for cranial nerve 7. So two more. There's cranial nerve 9. And cranial nerve 9 has lesser petrosal nerve. So that's a connection to be made. Lesser petrosal off cranial nerve 9 and greater petrosal off of 7. And lesser petrosal goes on and it's ganglia. It'll synapse at otic. And it's going to go on to parotid gland, which I'm sure you guys have seen a ton of. And otic ganglion is associated with V3, and this will make sense in a second. Uh, V3, this is, so this is right after, just remember, it's right after the foramen ovale. I don't know if you guys have studied that yet. Okay, and then last one is cranial nerve 10, cranial nerve 10. Very, very general, but you have fibers going to different terminal ganglia. And so you're going tons of different places, uh, like your heart, so uh, parasympathetic, so slowing down the heart, and a ton of viscera. It's not the best drawing ever, but 